Greeting salutations, this is Notorious and Realized a Bad Bad Fox here to read you a poem. This one is entitled to be Nature's Executioner. This was inspired by Doomax Wolf, aka Doomy. You will see the picture now. Always love writing for Doomy and everything. If you hear anything in the background, that is Win Win Robin in his stream. I'm right now lurking, so. But, oh, you don't need to have that in the back. I'm like, dude, no, I don't care. Again, I do this for fun. This is all for the funds and happiness. So, while well, I was in the further to do, let's break some air drums. <clears throat> Tell me if I were to ask permission to give something along the lines of a demonstration of what ties me to those many curves to carry the burden of reputation of being born with fang and claw and a mindset them all. Would you dare allow me to show without hesitation the levels and lengths I would go to to ensure her protection? Or would you flee from this situation and compare this venario with the amalgamations, those useless abominations that don't share the prestigious kindred lineage that binds us to those wrapped up in nocturnal curtains of Mother Nature's care? If I were to accept the idea of letting the fires of my personal damnation formulate each and every stipulation, as if this was nothing more than a game to the masses who failed to grasp the pain of being nothing but a cog in a contraption, this mind-numbing prophecy that was meant to grant me some sick form of satisfaction, only to leave me with no reaction but the desire to add more wood to the growing pyre. But how can you hate me when in the end this is just how I was wired? So is it just a conspiracy that I am nothing more than her fluffy executioner, bound to the heresy of what was mistaken to identity? Why am I the one that has to set the flames to the waves that crash upon nature's shores? Am I not worthy to find some sort of peace of mind? For each time I look upon the fields of Her Majesty, I feel no empathy for what she has done to me. How she has trapped my soul in the sacrilege of what she calls love. And even though I swore my oath to the evergreen and oaks, I can't help thinking that I'm the punchline in nature's cruel joke. Yes, something just for her to poke and point in direction to purify this infection that has nothing but wandered aimlessly without a warning or opportunity for correction. <clears throat> my voice. Wow, I need something to drink. So, this was Notorious. I'm out. Deuces. <laughs> Whatever it takes, I'm on my way. Yeah.